after an emotional evening, Megan has come to talk to Big Brother. Megan, Big Brother is here to talk to you if you need to. I just feel like everyone is just like, listens to everyone else's shit. What about my shit? What about my problems? I have problems. I have issues too. And I was fucking interested. Is there anyone in the house that you feel like you could talk to about this? I spoke to Steph the other night about it. Like when we were just talking about her losing her granddad and me losing my granddad about the same time. Well, I didn't get a chance to say bye to mine. Like I was away filming fucking X on the beach. Shagging. And my granddad died. And I was on TV shagging. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's, that makes me feel fucking great, doesn't it? I was away partying, loving life in Portugal. I can't be bothered for this shit because it's like I'm constantly always asking people, are they all right, are they okay, how are you feeling, enjoy the party, let's have a party, whatever. But then it's like, when it comes down to it, and we're all sitting wherever and chatting about stories, I just feel like, because I don't, because I don't sit there and express myself. This is why people think I'm a fucking bitch. Because it's like, oh, she don't ever like talk about it, like how she feels. Oh, she don't talk about who she likes or whatever. No, it's because I keep myself to myself, and I don't sit there and explain it all out in front of everyone. It just really, really winds me up. I hate that. I hate it. No one gives a shit about ya. This is twenty. This is this is this is fucking twentieth century, mate. No one gives a shit about anyone else. Everyone cares about themselves, and I'm sick of it. No one gives a shit about you. Big Brother provided the housemates with costumes and makeup to transform themselves into puppets and puppet masters. Puppets are not permitted to eat any of the puppet masters' food. Puppet food will be provided by Big Brother. <laughs> Megan is letting off steam in the diary room. Idiots out there are standing there cooking sausage sandwiches in front of us. Can you imagine if some of them were in the puppet things and then one of us went to cook all that food? I'm sure a few people would be like, oh, that's a bit unfair. Oh, that's a bit... No, but they're just scoffing their faces like fucking animals. Of course they are. I want to win and, and don't let the group down. And then there's people cooking sausages. Do you want some beans with that, babes? Do you want anything else with the fucking sausages? I'm, I'm hungry. Who the hell wants to eat cold lentil soup? Who wants to stand there and eat cold lentil soup? It tastes like sick. It tastes like I'm sicking it up after a night out. That's what it tastes. I wouldn't even give my dog that. That's shit, mate. That's shit on a plate. It looks like someone's just done a shit in, my bo in a bowl and giving it to me. All right, Megan. Well, if there's nothing else, you are free to return to the house. I can't believe this. Late last night, housemates had to nominate for this week's eviction. It's going to have to be Johnny because I didn't think it was fair that we that everyone was like leaving Tiff on her own. It's a mistake. Nancy, she acts like she's in a hotel. It's not fair. I can't deal with it. It's not fair. It's, this is not a game. This is like, I'm actually hungry. I feel ill. I've got to sleep all night. <laughs> Megan, just take a moment. <laughs> no, because I haven't slept all night. And then you do this to me! Look, I can't deal with it, it's not fair! It's not fair! This is a game and I'm doing the game and you take it too far by not feeding me! I can't eat that shit! What the fuck? How can I eat that shit? It's disgusting! I've tried to eat, I even sat there earlier and ate a fucking egg that was centuries years old it made me be it made me feel sick and I, I did it for the team like what the fuck this is not normal this is not fair megan the meals big brother has been providing during the task are nutritionally balanced are you joking 
Are you actually gonna have, are you joking me? Would you sit there and eat that shit on a serious level? How the fuck is three crackers and one stupid fig nutritionally balanced? Answer me that, big brother. Three crackers and a fucking fig. Housemates are discussing house cleanliness. I know you've got a problem with Stephanie cleaning her shit up, but just tell her. Just she's tell right. her. She's right. She's right. But no, but, but that's all we were saying. Yeah, but, you, you, but it's turned into something about you. Tell her to clean her shit up. Which you want? So putting it on. I'll like tell her every day. Tell her. Nobody's she's putting it on. Call her in and tell her to clean her shit up and she'll clean Maybe it up. Maybe it's a Well, she will, then, won't she, John? Listen, let me talk. Because I'm the fucking one telling the truth in it. Because everyone. Do you know what, Jonathan? And that was the one thing. My name thing. is John. My name's not Jonathan. John! My name's John! John. 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 My name's John. Well, don't worry, you're laughing, Tiffany. It's not Jonathan. My, 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 my name's John. Right. Are you joking? This needs to stop. You laugh, then, Tiffany. Yeah. You laugh. Yeah. Yeah. This needs to stop right now. He's the one who wanted everyone to walk out of his house. He was the one who wanted everyone to walk out of his house and let it go. And I stood there. This is Big Brother. Could Megan go to the bathroom immediately? Bullshit! Bullshit! I am sick of that shit! He is a fucking lying little shitbag! He's a liar! He is a liar! I'm sick of it! I am sick of the fakeness! I'm sick of it! I've kept it in too long! I've kept it in fucking too long! I can't deal with it! He's a liar! He's a liar! He says one thing to someone and one thing to someone. I watch him and I should have known it from day one. He is a nasty piece of work and he is, he is flipping me out because he has lied all night and he slates, slates Tiffany, slates Tiffany to the ground, slates her! And I tell you what, there's a few people tonight who I really didn't think thought that and as soon as I said it, they started fucking thinking out because they fucking agree with me. They agree with me. Megan is still talking to Big Brother. This is fucking bullshit. Megan, Big Brother isn't here to be shouted at. Big well, Brother is here now. to help you and to deal what, with the what, situation. What, what, oh, Big Brother don't like being shouted at. Big Brother don't like. How the fuck? Big do Brother you think considers I this to be a volatile situation and expects your cooperation. That's fine. Go on, let me in there. Megan, Go take on. a seat. Let me in there, go on. Megan, Big Brother just wants let to talk to you. Let me in there. Go on, let me in there. Let me in there, right? Let me in there with that lying little scumbag cunt called John and Tiffany, right? Hello? Let me in there. Megan, go sit on. down. Let me in there. Megan, sit let down. Let me in there and you let Tiffany demand everyone. Megan, sit down. No, you let everyone else demand everyone apart from me. You think because I'm just 23 years old, you think I can deal with this shit. I've dealt with it for two fucking days and I've not said a word. So I'll fucking laugh in your face. So let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Megan, security are going to enter. Get security then. Get fucking security. It's bullshit. No. She is a lying little bully. She's a bully. She's a ghetto cunt. No, it's not fair, because I'm sick of this shit. I don't like people treating me like shit. I'm sick of it. No, they're putting it on telly. No, they're putting it on telly. After last night's events, Big Brother has called Megan to the diary room. Hello, Megan. Hello. Megan, before you entered the Big Brother house, the rules regarding unacceptable behaviour and language were explained to you. The Big Brother rules clearly state that Big Brother will intervene and take appropriate action if housemates behave in a way that Big Brother considers unacceptable. At 1.53 last night, you behaved in an aggressive way. You shouted and used threatening body language towards Tiffany and some of your other housemates. Your behaviour continued for some time and you refused to accept advice to calm down. At 1.59am, you made threats of violence. You said about John, I swear down, I'll go sick on that cunt. At 2.37am, you used language that could be seen as racist. You described Tiffany as a ghetto cunt. You hit the camera in the diary room repeatedly 
and spoke to Big Brother disrespectfully. This is not acceptable. Big Brother is giving you a formal warning. If you repeat this behaviour and language again, Big Brother may have no choice but to remove you from the house. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't like it that you put it in that way to me. I don't like it because I feel like what if people saying that they feel threatened by me. I was trying to help Tiffany. I was explaining to everybody how two-faced John is. He's been doing it for days, since the day he come in here. I flipped out because I can't handle that anymore. Megan, this isn't a discussion. Your behaviour overall was aggressive and it must not happen again. Do you understand that? Yeah. Megan has something to say to Big Brother. I just want to apologise for how I re how I acted in here to you, but like I really I actually like really didn't mean to hit the camera, and I mean I'm not I'm I'm not going to apologise to John just because I I still believe that I do think he's very manipulative and he's he got under my skin so much it, like I just blew like it was like a ticking time bomb and I like I didn't think in a million years using the word ghetto would offend anybody and I apologise for that and I would never like physically touch someone like I wouldn't but I, I don't want you to think that I'm disrespecting you because I am very very grateful to be here and be put in this position and I hope by making a mistake by being acting like I did in here and saying them things out there that I hope that hasn't ruined like people's views on me. Housemates have been gathered for tonight's eviction. Megan is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. Megan, how do you think tonight's events will change the dynamics in the house? Obviously, it's, it's caused a little bit of an awkwardness between Steph and Daniela tonight, which is really hard for me because I love Daniela. We click, we get the same thing. And um, obviously, I do get on with Steph as well. Like, that's going to be awkward for me now. And do you know what? I just think there's going to be a few people in here that are going to be very, very careful of what they do and what they say now. Who are you referring to, Megan? Johnny. I see it straight away. When he was going, yeah, 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 I love it, I love it, I'm going to be going. And that's all fake when everyone was chanting, going, get John out, get John out. Mate, he's gutted. He's gutted. He's inside going, fuck's sake, fuck's sake. Everyone's clocked on. These little fags smile like. Big Brother has another announcement. This is Big Brother. Housemates, it's nominations time. Oh. And tonight, it will be face to face. Oh, no. <laughs> My first nomination is John A. Um, obviously, because we have had history with the rowing situation, I do think you are a little bit of a people pleaser, but obviously we have been getting on lately and hopefully it can carry on like that, but that's my reason. And my second nomination is Tiffany, because I do feel like sometimes you take situations too seriously I don't and care. snap. I don't care. Okay. I don't. I, I really don't give a fuck. I really don't. Exactly. All right. Can I please finish what I'm gonna say? I'm not stopping you from talking. I'm talking about how I'm feeling because that's my face I'm looking back at. So I have the right to chime in. Okay. And um, obviously, when arguments happen, sometimes I do get a bit taken back by it but you know I love you and I get on with you and I would never want to hurt your feelings but that is the reason. Megan is in the bedroom and she's not happy. Steph are you taking the piss? What's she done just thrown that in the corner? No she's jumped in the pool with it on. Well, your tracks tracks on. I'm sure into it sorry. Well I don't care. Sorry. It's I'm yours. It's yours. Disrespectful to my shit. I said she can borrow it. It's disrespectful. I knew I was gonna flip. <coughs> Steph that's piss take. What? My tracksuit. 
No, Jeff pushed us in the so? pool. But he chucked us in the pool. I'm not strong enough wet. to take him. I'm going to hang it up. No, because you're not hanging up because it's obviously like oh, all chlorine on it. No. No one's touched my stuff anymore. No one's borrowing anything. Megs, it's just wet from the pool. No, I've, getting no, because it's in. pissing me off. I let you borrow my tracksuit. Yeah, but I didn't ju jump in the pool, did I? Yeah, so then you should hang it up. Don't leave it in the corner. I'm borrowing yeah, I didn't my jump stuff. In the I'm pool. letting you borrow my stuff. No, even my pr God, just, even my pajamas oh, were on uh, in stung on there and everything. I'm sick of it. It is my shit. Everyone's not taking respect. No one's respecting me of my shit. Megan has come to talk to Big Brother. I don't. I, you know what? It ain't because I'm in here and I'm getting stressed about everything. I would be like this at home as well, because if my sister took one of my brand new tracksuits what I hadn't even put on, and then done that. It just shows you what type of people, shows you what type of person. Like, I love Steph, I get on with her, she's my mate in here. I've helped her through her lowest points in here with the whole Jeremy shit, which is a load of bollocks, who's running around after her like a fucking puppy dog, and all she's, she's got a boyfriend at home, she's gonna run out and go back to her boyfriend, because she's told me. She loves a boyfriend, she's told me that. She wants a boyfriend. Why can't Jeremy see that? All right, he might have feelings for her. That's bollocks picking her case up, picking her shit up, putting it all away. It's bollocks. It is fucking me off. I just want two minutes on my own without people irritating me. It's just bollocks. I just feel like I've been there the whole time for Jeremy, for Steph, Jeremy, for Steph, Jeremy, for Steph, the whole time. Whole time. Then I just get pushed out of the picture. So I'm done with it now.